I'm really excited today to announce five new colors in our popular wood paint print series. So originally we started with distressed wood, which is kind of an old reclaimed wood. And then we had walnut wood, which is a darker wood. And then um, our third color that we had originally is a, a Japanese burnt wood. Well, now we have five new colors. First off, we have maple wood, which is a light wood. When you're looking at different wood colors, maple wood's very popular because it's got a light, creamy color and it's got a really smooth grain pattern. So when architects are choosing wood finishes for their projects, what's really been on trend are the lighter colors. The lighter colors present more of a modern look. Then we have rosewood, which I think will be our most popular color. It's kind of a middle of the road color option, uh, not too light, not too dark. Rosewood is actually a rare wood that's very popular. It's, it's, it's got some really distinctive grain patterns. And when you look at our wood paint print series, this is kind of the middle ground. We have, a, we have the lightest wood we carry is maple wood, and then we have a dark walnut wood. This falls right into the middle, and it's been a very popular color. Our third color is gray wood, and that looks like an old gray distressed wood. And it's designed to look like an old barn wood that's very old and is kind of grayed and weathered throughout time. Architects really love this color because not only does it look old and antique, but this gray actually looks quite modern all at the same time. When you look at this color, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a matte finish and it's got hints of white and it's just kind of a muted gray. It's a beautiful product for your exterior wall or soffit. Our fourth color is blackwood and it's an absolutely gorgeous color. It's got a matte black appearance with hints of white and absolutely gorgeous wood grains that run throughout the panel. So the modern farmhouse look has been one of the hottest architectural trends and that being a light exterior with a, with a matte black or dark, or dark roof or wall. What makes this color really cool is it's an alternative to matte black where you still have that look of black, but with the hints of white that are in this color, it's really going to blend in aesthetically with that modern farmhouse look. Our fifth color is aged wood, and it's designed to look like a wood that's been installed for decades. It's distressed, it was painted white, the paint's peeling, and it's just going to give you this old antique look. This color would be perfect if you had an accent wall and you had a project where you had some antique old looking features and you just needed something to give it a little bit of color pop. So what makes our wood prints unique is that it's not one standard color. It's actually, there's four patterns here. We call it pattern A, B, C, and D. And each pattern looks slightly different than the next. So they have different variations of the color. One might be a little darker, one might be a little lighter the grain pattern will be a little different. So what it's designed to do is you mix and match them. So we have patterns A, B, C, and D, for example, and it doesn't matter which order you mix them in, but you just don't want pattern A side by side if you can avoid it. By mixing and matching, when you put it over a large area, the pattern does not become repetitive and it looks real and authentic. One of the things that architects like about our metal paint prints is that there's a lot less maintenance in real wood. When you have a metal panel, you don't, have to, you don't have to stain it, you don't have to seal it, you don't worry about termites. And it's actually quite easier to install in many instances in real wood. And when you look at the price point of real wood installed versus these metal panels installed, it's actually very comparable. So in my hand, I have two different panels of the ETA plank wall. I just happen to have uh, Series A and Series B that's got the protective plastic on it, so if it looks a little shiny in the picture, that's why. But I want to show you how easy this is to install. This is a concealed fastener system, so you will not see the screws. What you'll do is you'll fasten this leg into, the, um, into your wood substrate on the wall or the soffit. And then you'll just take the next sheet and you'll slide it into place and repeat the process. These colors are available in a 24 gauge PVDF paint finish. They come with the standard paint warranty and they're available in coil, flat sheets. We can make trim for all of your wall and soffit conditions. They're also available in two panel profiles. We can do a T8 plank wall as shown here, or we can do a metal board and batten panel. Both of these panels can be installed vertically or horizontally.